previous generation MV Agusa Brutale 800, a bike that had beautiful Italian styling but had some quirks to it. Today we have the new and improved model which still has the same beautiful Italian styling but with a whole much more features. So in this episode of Beyond the Ride, let's find out if the 2021 MV Agusa Brutale 800 RR SCS is more than just all show, but if it can, get up and go. The bike is powered by a 798cc dual overhead cam liquid cooled 4-stroke 3 cylinder engine that punches out 140 horsepower at 12,300 RPM and 86 Newton meters of torque at 10,250 RPM. Stopping power is provided by 320 millimeter dual floating discs up front and a 220 millimeter disc at the rear. Of course, you got the Brembo calipers. Keeping bumps at bay, you get fully adjustable upside down Marzocchi fork up front and a fully adjustable Sax single shock at the back. For the tires and wheels, you get 120 by 70 up front and a 180 by 55 at the rear, both on 17s. You get full LEDs up front and at the back, which in my opinion, all modern bikes should come equipped with. This bike also has daytime running and cornering lights. The bike also comes equipped with a adjustable steering damper, which is found right underneath the dash. It's a nice feature to have because when you're going at speed on the expressway, you want it harder. Now, once you exit and find you know, yourself in some twisties, you can adjust it on the fly. A couple of clicks to the left, it becomes softer. The dash of the previous generation Brutale 800 didn't do the bike justice. In fact, it was borderline useless. The new model comes equipped with a 5.5 inch TFT dash and it is awesome. You can see it under direct sunlight and you can control everything on it. It's got navigation, launch control, front lift control, cruise control, the different riding modes, Bluetooth to connect to your phone and the MV Ride app. I mean, it's just so much better than the previous model's dash. Speaking of the app, let's check the usability. So you can download the MV Agusta Ride app from the Apple or Google Play Store. And then uh, you can start up the bike. So that's the icon of the app. And once you get, once you open it up, it's connected to the bike, as you can see, and you can adjust the different riding modes. You can even make customized uh, modes as well. You can adjust the engine response, the engine brake, max torque. You know, it's nice. You can check out the safety features with the traction control, front lift control. It is pretty useful. Now the aesthetics are pretty much the same from the uh, previous generation, which I absolutely loved. It's muscular and pretty. I love the attention to detail. Now something like this, there's a little cover behind the rear indicator. Now I thought uh, the one on the other side came off, but really it just comes in one side. It's there to protect uh, the indicators because the pipes are right there. It also has this little window down here to show off the clutch, which Ducati kind of made popular. And speaking of the clutch, that's actually an important part of this bike. The fuel tank capacity is just a little over 16 liters and you can get about 16 kilometers per liter, which isn't fantastic, but because of the type of bike it is, I can live with that. It's got a dry weight of 175 kilograms, which makes it extremely manageable. The seat height is 830 millimeters, which is a little bit on the tall side with a 763 millimeter. And that is the situation. The updates on the 2021 MV Agusta Brutale 800 RR SCS makes the bike infinitely better than its predecessor. It's more comfortable, it's got more tech, it's got more riding aids, and they kept the design as aggressively gorgeous as it once was. It used to be a little bit more style. Now, the bike definitely has substance. But all of that comes at a price. You can get the RR SCS version for 1.2 million Philippine pesos. Yes, it is a little steep but I guess that's a price you pay for motorcycle art. 